Well, welcome back. In this video, um, I finished this uh, mower off after nearly two years. So I just installed the deck and just putting the final finishing touches on. So this is the boot for the gear shifter. And I had a couple of decals made. This one's for the uh, cutter height and uh, turned out really well. So there's just the cutter height marker and then just some numbers. And here I'm just installing the dash. Uh, on the dash there's the taco, which you would have seen in previous videos. And the gauge on the on the left there is actually the cylinder head temperature, just to make sure that I can keep an eye on that. And I do have a fan up front as well, and just wanted to be absolutely sure the engine doesn't have any overheating problems. So just tidying up that, bolting down the dash, um, and then uh, also put the rocker switches in. So fair few wires there. Uh, there's a main switch. There's a switch for powering up the engine. There's a push button start. A switch for the headlights, and the switch on the far right is for the electric clutch that operates the uh, cutters. And you can see on the bodywork there, there's an RPM meter there as well, which shows the RPM of the of the uh, cutter or the deck. There's a charging port and that switch is for the fan that I have up front so I can run that fan forward or reverse. You can see the custom decals I had made at the back there. I've actually decided to call this a, a Mozuki. So it is a Suzuki engine and it's a mower so I thought why not My, Mozuki seems to be a good term for it. Um, the whole thing has come up awesome. I'll put some rubber uh, foot mats there that turned out well. Uh, just glued them down and there's the deck um, the front body work is just here there's a custom decal Mozuki as I said and uh, it is 30 speed so there's six gears on the motorbike engine five gears on the Audi gearbox or VW gearbox so that makes 30 speed and LSD because it is actually a Quaif LSD believe it or not that I've upgraded in there and it uh, makes it a lot of fun when it comes to drifting I put a little fan there, that's just to keep some airflow around the electrics. Uh, there's the bonnet, it has some um, struts to hold it up, and there's a little lock to keep it down as well. The whole thing's just turned out amazing. So I thought, I've gone this far, I've gone right to the last bit of detail, bought some genuine um, uh, decals for the engine, and that this looks amazing, I reckon. It really finishes the whole thing off. So that's just the Suzuki uh, genuine emblem on that side, and I got it. I found one actually for the other side as well. So the emblems are all on. Um, I also put a couple of decals on the the cutter deck as well, just you know the general sort of um, safety warnings about you know you don't want to cut your fingers off. So uh, I thought I'd just tidy it up and do that as well, which you'll see in a minute. This is just a, a rear view, just to show sort of how it looks against a standard mower. I think it looks amazing. It's very wide, and uh, the paint and the colour and everything uh, has turned out really great. So, extremely happy with this. Um, in a moment, I just start it up, take it for a bit of a drive. I'll give you a bit of a preview on how it drifts, and uh, in the next video, I'll do uh, some perhaps still shots of the entire build uh, for those that haven't seen previous videos. So uh, here you can just see, yeah, just putting these danger signs on on the deck, so just to finish it off. And uh, finally just peeling the plastic off, which I know there's been a couple of comments about this, and uh, especially on this Speedo. So there you go, brand new Speedo, literally. Uh, here we go, we started up, so um, stay tuned.